the CTB26 from Evergoods has arrived. This is a pretty awesome backpack, um, to say the least. I think it's, in my opinion, it's as close to perfection as you're going to get from an EDC slash travel backpack. Um, it really does me uh, mesh those two together, meets right in the middle. Um, maybe a bit big for EDC and maybe a bit small for one bag travel, but this does take a lot of stuff. I've packed it out so you are able to see, you know, what it's capable of. Um, it is 26 litres, but um, I find it's always really useful to see uh, physically what you can get in the bag. So um, before we get into all the um, compartments and everything, I'm going to discuss what I uh, like and dislike about the bag, um, because chances are you already know, if you're watching this video, um, you already know about all the pockets and everything. So um, the main thing I like about the bag is just overall the amount of um, the amount of organisation is perfect. They haven't gone overboard on like external pockets or organisation within the bag. Every area, every compartment is really easy to use and access. There's nothing that's uh, awkward on the bag, um, or very little that's awkward on the bag. And that for me is, is high praise because it's not like in your face, it's just from a usability standpoint, it's just a real pleasure to use. Um, the other thing, obviously, it's really, really comfortable. Now, of course, that is subjective. Some people don't get on with Evergoods bags, but this um, system for me is super comfy. It's the most comfortable backpack. Um, I've ever worn or the most comfortable system because I have the CHD22 and that's just as comfortable um, and also I think it just looks great as well so a couple of subjective things in there but um, yeah I think it looks pretty slick. The only two things I would change um, firstly I mean, and this is all throughout Evergoods' bags so these carry handles it's just a bit of plastic with some fabric wrapped around it could do with a bit more padding because when you grab it the sides kind of dig into your hand and although you're not gonna really carry this for a long time it would be nice to just have a little bit more padding but it is a trade-off between comfort and uh, th that slimness factor um, just to keep it nice and streamlined so it's relatively minor. And the other thing um, Evergoods seems to hate webbing keepers they don't put webbing strap keepers on any of their bags so i've actually ordered the tom bin strap keepers um they look like they'll do the job so they're hopefully will be here soon um it's not a major issue um but the bag is designed to be worn quite high so you end up with quite a long piece of strap there just dangling and it would be nice just to cinch that down there just to control it a bit more and then a couple of things just to be aware of, um, not necessarily a positive or negative, um, but the fabric on the outside, um, it's a lighter fabric than on the CHC22. So this is uh, 420D nylon. The CHC is 840D nylon. Um, I will put up some pictures now um, of uh, the comparison between the CHZ's fabric and the CTB's fabric. This, as you'll see in the photos, it's like the weave is smaller, it's a tighter weave. And that makes it a bit slicker, um, makes it look a bit more business, a bit less rugged. But in terms of durability, um, I don't have any concerns with either. Which one do I prefer? I slightly prefer this, the fabric on the CHZ, um, but it's, it's a, just a small preference. Um, this is great. Um, and I believe they used that fabric on, on this because they wanted to get the weight down because it is a bit of a heavier backpack. Um, one other thing as well is if you are um, aware of Evergoods lineup, you'll recognize <clears throat> this front panel here from the CPL lineup. Um, and the CPL has a mirror version as well where they've switched this around to be on this side. So the way this bag is, um, it, by default is um, you, you, you need to swing this over your left shoulder and then you can access this pocket 
with your right hand. The mirror version enables you to do it from your right shoulder. Um, so just be aware of that if you have a strong preference either way. Ever goods, I uh, don't think they intend to make a mirrored version of this. Um, they have commented on a couple of YouTube videos and Instagram posts uh, where they, they say that the CPL was the only um, lineup that they were going to do a mirror version on, but things could change. So um, yeah, just bear that in mind. Right, let's get on to looking at what this bag is all about. Um, first of all, obviously it stands on its own. Um, it's really secure. It's not like leaning or anything, it just stands on its own. Great. Um, we've talked about the fabric on the outside, the back panel, it's their uh, latest iteration of um, Supreme Comfort. So this is their 50D monofilament goodness. Um, it's really smooth, but it's very rugged. Um, it's like rugged silk. Um, so it's really comfortable on your back and it's not gonna cause abrasion with your clothes. So uh, you're not gonna get like piling or damage to your clothes with this. Um, it's super, super comfy. Um, sternum strap it's just a buckle um, so no magnets there which is fine for me uh, and you can remove them switch them around or move them up and down as well um, you have a luggage pass through as well and that's it's just free floating there's no attachment or anything to secure it it just naturally stays flush to the back and you don't even notice that it's there uh, until someone points it out but it's a full luggage pass through which is really nice to see um, the carry handle system so it goes from here all the way down to the water bottle pocket um, and it goes slightly into the that, that, that pocket um, and you've got these two loop areas here and then the carry handle at the top and then this on the side and there's an aluminium stay here so it, it distributes the weight um, in the bag you can take the stay out if you want uh, and there's also on the top um, or actually going around the bag there is some sort of plastic stabilizer um, i'll try and grab it there so that's this plastic stabilizer thing that goes around the bag giving it structure um, and I guess helping to distribute some of that weight. I don't think you can take that out, but I, I'm not sure. Let's take a look inside the bag. So first of all, the laptop compartment. You have a dedicated laptop compartment, which is also where you would, it's also where you would store a water bladder if you wanted to um, do that. So they say, I think this takes up to a 17 inch laptop. Um, this, I believe, is a 15-inch laptop. And this Velcro thing can tuck out of the way. And you've got this divider. And then the water bladder would go into this compartment here, this section. And up here, there is a little loop. And you can hook the bladder on, and the loop is about there. And then you can feed the hose through either one of the shoulder straps and it would come out here. So onto the external um, compartments of the bag. In the front, you've got this great, large, capacious dump pouch. Um, just to show you what this could take. So I've just got a pack of tissues, Sony XM3 headphones, and just randomly put two decks of cards in there and there was still a little bit of space um, in there but I'm not sure I would want to stuff much more in there this is going to be for my headphones mainly um, and maybe a couple of other small things but this is really capacious it's lisa independent it goes right round to here ends about there so yeah it comes down to about here and you've got this whole space from basically from the, the stitching here by the zippers and it goes up like that. You've got space up here too. So it's brilliant, um, great amount of space there. Um, you then have this front admin panel, again, accessible um, if you swing it over your left shoulder or if you've got the back of this orientation on the, on the desk. 
um, and you've got some uh, organization in here as well. So there's a little slot for a pen. You could get a couple of pens in there or a, like a small knife or a flashlight. Um, notepad. And then a zippered mesh compartment. Um, I've added this zipper pull just to make it a bit easier. Um, this is the only bit I would say is a little bit awkward to get in and out of, but you could just leave the zip open. Um, iPhone 12. And then a little flashlight in there. Um, and then their key leash. I've just got my car keys on here. Um, is in this area. I prefer the key leash here as opposed to the yoke pocket, which we'll look at now. Um, so on the CHC22 and on some of their other banks, they have the key leash in this top pocket. Uh, I find it just gets in the way and um, I prefer it in this front panel. This is just an open pocket, no organization within it. Got a power bank and some AirPods with plenty of room to spare. Um, this is slightly shallower than the yoke pocket on the CHZ, but um, it's a bit wider. So what it lacks in, what it loses in depth, it makes up for in width. Um, so I think the overall capacity is the same. Um, I realize now I forgot to mention that the frame sheet um, in the back panel is removable and accessible from the laptop compartment. But I understand it's very hard to take out and even harder to put back in. Obviously, we have the water bottle pockets. Um, this is around about a litre capacity bottle. Um, really nice and discreet. They just fold in if you're not using them. And let's get into the main compartment. Um, I've added, you can get these um, separately from Evergoods, the, the orange um, zipper pulls <clears throat> that you can buy from them. So, looking in the main compartment, we've got a full clamshell opening. Um, so this is the Peak Designs medium packing cube. Um, it's packed out and compressed, so if you decompress it, it a, there's still um, a lot of capacity in this. And that would probably fit in there, you'd probably be able to um, press that in into the bag. Um, I've got the cap two as well, civic access pouch, two liters, and a little first aid kit. You could put, you know, a pouch in there. And then uh, in this uh, elasticated, really nice and soft sort of divider area, I've got a, a wireless keyboard and a Moft Z laptop stand. And that's it for the, the clamshell area. Um, if you wanted to take the aluminium stay out, this is where you would do it. There's some Velcro there and you can access it and you can remove that. Um, you've got these little loops here so you could hook, I don't know, a pouch or a carabiner from that if you wanted. Um, and just to note that um, that plastic sort of frame runner runs around from, I think it, um, it feels like it starts here and it goes all the way around and down to the bottom of the bag. So you've got a really good amount of protection from the floor from smashing the, your laptop on the floor or even from here, if you could put a tablet in there and you've got that protection at the bottom and then the bottom of the bag is padded as well. On the front compartment, nice see-through mesh, laptop charger, and the Cap 1. Again, just to illustrate what you could put in here, and there was still plenty of room in this. One thing to note about this area here is if you put something fat in here, it is going to encroach on this admin panel space. Um, I think that's the only area here where it's not leaser independent um, but it's a relatively minor thing and then in the top this is a really nice pouch nice and wide so um, i've not packed this out anywhere near full capacity i've just got a wallet a little you know, first aid kit 
kit, just some plasters and oh, that's in there. That's the uh, reflective Velcro patch. Um, so I really like that they've got these little two little divider pockets here. Um, if you don't use them, if you don't want to use them, you just chuck them out of the way. Um, but they're really good to just keep stuff organized so that you don't have things moving around a lot. Um, one other thing to note about the inside here, about the space of the main compartment in relation to the space of the laptop compartment, there is an element of sharing um, that space. So if you have a laptop in there, this panel is going to move forward just a little bit. Um, and if you don't have anything in there, then it's going to move back. So you get maybe like that much space. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's that significant. It's just something to know that there is a, an element of give and take there, but not on this side, because this is where that plastic frame stay thing um, goes. So this doesn't really move back and forth. Um, but on this side it does. So just to note that. Um, you've also got these little tabs to help you close the bag. And um, I mentioned that um, the bag is really easy to, it's really easy to access every pocket here. And although um, those inside pockets are not quick access, they're almost quick access because if you put the zippers here, you can easily get into that mesh compartment without needing to um, unravel the whole bag and open that clamshell. And it's the same with the top, you just unzip it at the top and you can get into that top compartment in the, inside the bag. The last thing uh, to note is obviously as a clamshell bag, it's great for travel because you can pack this out and see it, see it and organize it really easily. Um, I don't think you lose um, much from on the EDC side of things because you have so many other pockets and areas for all of that stuff. Um, so it really is an excellent blend of travel and EDC. So that concludes this video on the CTB26. I will put some photos up now um, to compare the size of the CTB26 with the CHC22. Um, the CTB is obviously the bigger bag. It's noticeable, but it's not ridiculous. Um, so here are the photos. And just as a, a final kind of summary, um, as I said, I really love this bag. Uh, I think it's the perfect blend of EDC and travel. Uh, I do think it might be um, a bit big for pure EDC and maybe a little small for pure travel. But as you saw, I could get a lot of stuff in this and um, you would certainly get, you know, a good two, at least two days of, uh, of travel out of this bag. Um, of course, that depends on what you need to bring with you, but um, there's certainly a lot of capacity f for this. Um, you know, 26 litres, you can actually take quite a lot. Um, it is overall a real pleasure to use and um, the layout is excellent, the feature set is excellent for me. Um, and yeah, um, this is gonna blend in with um, the CHC 22 for me really nicely. I'll use the CHC for um, commuting and for light sort of EDC kind of stuff. This is gonna be uh, the bag I take for traveling as, as my carry-on bag. Um, and when I just want some extra capacity. So um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, leave some comments. What, you, what do you think about this bag? Um, do you think it's as good as I've said? Uh, or, um, you know, what other options are you guys looking at? What other options are you considering um, versus the CTB26? So thanks, guys. Catch you in the next one.